Hello and welcome to Funny English. I'm excited to be sharing this content with you today and I hope you find it informative and enjoyable. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. Listen and practice. Once upon a time in a small town, there was a circus that had come to perform for a week. The circus had all sorts of acts, including acrobatics, tightrope walking, and clowns. Everyone was excited to see the show, especially the children, who were eagerly waiting the clowns. However, as the days passed, strange things began to happen. People start disappearing and no one knew where they were going. The town was filled with fear and speculation, and many people suspect that the clowns were to blame. One night, a group of children decided to sneak into the circus tent to see what was going on. They were searching for their missing friends and hoped to find them at the circus. As they entered the tent, they were greeted by a creepy clown who was dressed in all white with painted face. The clown beckoned the children to follow him, and they hesitantly obliged. They were led to a room at the back of the tent where they found their missing friends. But they were not in the state they had left them in. Their friends were pale and lifeless, and their eyes were empty. The children screamed and tried to run, but the creepy clown was too fast. He grabbed them and took them a secret room that was hidden deep within the circus. The room was filled with old, dusty props and costumes, and the clown locked the children inside. Days passed, and the children were trapped in the room with no food or water. They were completely alone, except for the occasional visits from the creepy clown who would taunt and torment them. They tried to escape, but the room was always locked, and the clown was always watching. As time went on, the children began to lose hope. They were starving and exhausted, and they feared that they would never make it out of the room alive. But one night, as the creepy clown was taunting them, one of the children noticed something strange about the clown's costume. There was a small key hidden in the pocket. The child quickly grabbed the key and unlocked the door. They led the other children out of the room and back to the tent. They found their way to the entrance and they ran as fast as they could back to the safety of their homes. But the creepy clown was not far behind. He chased the children throughout the town and no one was safe from his wrath. The town was in a state of panic and people were locking themselves indoors afraid to leave their homes. The police were called and they searched the circus, but they found nothing. The creepy clown had disappeared and the children were the only witness to what had happened. Years passed and the town slowly returned to normal. The children grew up and they rarely spoke of their encounter with the creepy clown. But every now and then, on a dark and stormy night, the clown would reappear, and the town would be thrown into chaos once again. It was said that the clown was a cursed being, trapped between the world of the living and the dead. He was searching for his lost soul, and he would stop at nothing to find it. The town became known as the Clown Town, and it was avoided by travelers who heard the tales of the creepy clown. But for those who lived there, the memories of the clown were never far away. They would hear his laughter in the wind, and they would see his face in their dreams. They knew that the clown was still up there, waiting for his next victims. And they lived in fear, knowing that one day, he will return to terrorize their town once again.
Years turned into decades and the clown's legend grew, spreading to neighboring towns and cities. People whispered about the creepy clown in hushed tones, and they told frightening stories to their children at night. But the clown was not content with just being a legend. He wanted to be remembered, to be feared, to be worshipped, and so he began to make his presence known once again. The first sign was a series of strange symbols that appeared throughout the town. They were carved into trees, scrawled on buildings, and etched into the pavement. No one knew what they meant, but everyone felt a creeping sense of death when they saw them. Next, strange clowns' dolls began to show up in people's homes. They were small and creepy, with twist screens and blank, soulless eyes. No one knew where they come from, but they were everywhere, and they seemed to be watching. And then, the clown began to make appearances in the town square. He would stand there silently, his white painted face twisted into a grotesque smile. No one dared to approach him, and the police were powerless to stop him. The clown's appearances became more frequent, and soon, people were afraid to leave their home at night. They locked their doors and windows, and they huddled together, praying that the clown would not come from them, but it was only a matter of time before he did. One by one, people began to disappear, and no one knew where they were going. The town was in a state of panic and no one knew what to do. It was then that a group of brave souls decided to confront the clown. They armed themselves with whatever they could find and set out to face their fears. They confronted the clown in the town square and for a moment, everything was still. And then, without warning, the clown attacked. He was fast and brutal and the group was no match for him. But as the clown was about to claim his final victim, a bright light appeared in the sky. It grew brighter and brighter, until it was almost too much to bear. And then, as suddenly as it had appeared, it was gone. The clown was gone too. No one ever saw him again. The town was safe. But the people were never the same. They were forever haunted by the memory of the creepy clown. And they live in fear, always wondering if he will return one day. And so, the legend of the creepy clown lives on. No one knows where he came from or why he chose to terrorize that small town. But they all know that he is out there, waiting, watching and ready to strike again.